Peace, peace, peace. Peace, love, and vibes. What's up? This is JT, Yogi JT, The Holistic Experience. Here we are, back again for yet another Breathe Work Saturn's Day live. Live breath work, three different breathing practices. We do this each and every Saturn's Day AM. So I want to thank you for joining me here in the Garage Cave Sanctuary. Feel free to relax in your own comfortable space. Find your place of peace, your place of chill. If you're in the car, you can breathe there as well. Just try to pull over. I want to welcome you again. Why do we breathe? Exercise the brain. Create some space. Transcend the week. And just let it all out. <clears throat> so with that being said, let's get into a nice comfortable seated position. And then just be aware of your breathing as we get into the breathing practices. We're going to do three. We do three every week. Before we start our breathing practice, we kind of set our intention. So you can set your own intention here, whatever you would like to set as. My intentions for you, my intentions for you, my intentions for you is just to transcend. That's what we're trying to do here. Transcend all the stuff going on, transcend the week, transcend the month so far. So halfway through, for all you new moonies, we just had a new moon. It's the middle of winter, it's a little bit cold, chilly, stuffy. <laughs> See, I woke up a little bit stuffy today, so I might be wiping my nose and <clears throat> getting some stuff out. So nice and relaxed, just being aware that we're breathing. I will be playing some sound for you today for those that like the relaxation of the root chakra sound bow and that C note, that middle C. So just being aware of the breath, we're going to come into the deep breathing. We're going to connect the body and the breath here by putting the left hand on the belly, right below the navel, and putting the right hand on the heart. And as we breathe in, we're going to go over the steps. You'll feel your belly come out, shoulders, collarbones rise, breath comes to the crown of the head. We can't breathe in no more, let's slowly let it out as everything falls down. Shoulders, collarbones, chest, and then our belly pokes all the way inward. And then we repeat that, breathing in. Everything comes out and up. And then we exhale, letting it all fall out and down, or in and down. Belly button coming in. So let's continue this process. Nice, slow, natural breathing, taking in air, bringing it to the crown of the head. You can't take in any more air, let it out. Recommendation here to breathe through the nose if you can. But I do rec realize it's winter time, it's stuffy, weather change. Some people have gotten snow, embrace the cold. So use your mouth if you have to, because most of us are congested. So let's continue and I'll introduce some sound.
the time here to feel the differences, feeling more relaxed, <clears throat> exchanging more air to the brain allows us to think more clearly. Getting all that old air out that we've been breathing dormant throughout the night. Getting in that freshness. And again, creating that space. So we're breathing, but there's a little bit of meditation in there because we're creating that space. With that being said, let's get to our open mouth deep breathing. So here's our one breathing exercise where we use the mouth specifically. And today we're going to kind of shorten the way we do it. So we're going to do the long, deep exhale, bringing the head down. And then we'll breathe inwards through the mouth. So this is a demonstration. Don't follow me yet. And then we'll exhale back down for a second time. And then we'll inhale. At the top of the inhale, we'll hold the breath. Tap on the heart a little bit. You can hit it with your hand or fist, whatever you want to do. And then you'll exhale and let it all out. So I'm going to begin. We're going to do three rounds of this. I'll begin the first round. And you can feel free to join in. Again, we're using the mouth here. So open the mouth. Really push the air out when you go down and really... Suck all that clean, fresh air in when you come up. This might make you feel a little bit lightheaded. That's okay, because we're exchanging a lot of air at one time. However, if you start to feel dizzy, please pull back. Protect your energy. Lightheaded is okay. Dizzy, not so okay. So we can have your hands on your lap. Relax. We're going to begin by exhaling. Dropping that head. Just relaxing it. And then you'll breathe in, taking the air in through the mouth, all the way to the top. When you can't breathe in no more, let's slowly exhale back down. Then breathing in through the mouth one more time. At the top of the breath, hold. And let it out. Turn to normal breathing, we turn the hands. <clears throat> that is the end of the first round. So, again, exchanging a lot of air here, you might feel a little lightheaded, that's okay. Really use the mouth with this. So, that's the kind of goal you want. You want to be able to push that air out and suck it back in. Okay, with that being said, let's begin round two. Again, I'm going to start off. Feel free to join in and do this at your own pace, protecting your energy. So let's begin round two. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Hold at the top, and let it all fall out. And return to normal breathing. Check in with the body here. Check in with the brain. See if you feel a little bit more awakened. That lightheadedness is usually you becoming more awakened, fresh. Oxygen coming to the brain. We'll wake us up a little bit more. So we're going to begin the third and final round. I'm going to let you do this one on your own as I play the sound. <clears throat> so I'm going to still do this. I'm not going to instruct this third and final round. So do this at your own pace. You can deep breathe as deep as you want to. Let's begin. I'll start off playing the sound for this last round.
text than when we first started. Transcending all of the bullshit that we've been hearing, seeing, and thinking. As we begin our third and final round, third and final breathing practice, the alternate nostril breathing, which is my favorite breathing practice because we kind of balance out the air we put in through each side of the brain. By closing off one nostril, we balance off that fight or flight response, which is really important right now. Parasympathetic, sympathetic nervous system, the way we react to things, very, very important. How we react is very important, especially in these next coming days. Divine spiritual beings, shout out to everyone who is paying attention, who's got their ear to the street, who is in the know. But again, how we react in these next few days will be very important. So control how, how you react. There's a lot of stuff going on right now that causes you to have a reaction. So let's control how we react by taking care of our parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system or our fight, flight, or freeze response. So that being said, we're gonna hold up a gentle fist, poking out the thumb, ring finger, and the pinky, bringing the hand close to the body. We're gonna close off the right nostril first. We're gonna breathe out of it, out of the left nostril. Then we'll breathe back in through the left. Closing off the left, we'll breathe out of the right. We'll breathe back in through the right. Closing off the right, we're gonna breathe back out of the left. Breathe in. Switch. Exhale. Inhale and switch. So we're going to continue that pattern. Exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, inhale, switch. <clears throat> so I want you to use a mantra with this. I want everyone doing this breathing practice to breathe in what they need. Breathe in the information you need. Breathe in the things you need. And then I need you to exhale the things you don't need. The bullshit, the things you don't need to see, the things you don't need to hear. Breathe all of that out and don't react to it. Breathe in what you need, breathe out what you don't need. So let's continue as I play some sound. You can release the hands and return to normal breathing. Taking time here to relax, reset. A little thanks to yourself for waking up and deciding to do some breathing. I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you for supporting. For those that share tell people about this thank you very much when we have nothing we have the breath when we have nowhere to go when we're back into the corner we can breathe we can take deep breaths and we can think but with that being said everything going on and everything coming up please 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 take some deep breaths before you react take some deep breaths before you think 
And let's get through this thing. Let's get through this. Let's transcend. That intention I set for you, we're transcending through this BS. Let's transcend to rise up and to go through. So to rise above, to see through, to go through. My definition of transcend is to basically walk through the clouds, walk through the rainstorm. You don't really know what's going on. You kind of know, but you're just getting through it. So let's transcend. Let's get through this. And when we feel like we're pressured back into a corner, let's take some deep breaths. And then let's think about it. Then let's react. Again, thank you. Peace, love, and vibes. It's me, Yogi JT. I will see you next week for Breathwork Saturn's Day. Thank you. Thank you.